Ready? Sure. <laughs> What's up, arm beaters? We're back and we're going to give you an awesome clutch update. All these holdbacks are put on a lot of size. Colors come in. They're looking amazing. We'd like to share it with you. Stay tuned. Yes. That's, that's, I jumped in there. Yes. Yes. So we're going to do an update right up close so you guys can really get a good view of the animals. So why don't we just get into it. All right, guys. So this is the mail that we got from Justin Kabelka. It's a fire spot news. 100% hit lab. 100% hit clown. 50% hit pied. Trying to get the head stamp. Really beautiful animal. Looks just like a fire spot news to me. I'm pretty sure. I don't see anything else in it. Not that I'm an expert on any of that. Right. But it threw some odd animals for us. So we're going to take those out and show you what is going on. So the pairing was that male to a super pastel fire calico hidden gene woma. And here we have what I believe is a firefly spot news. Run away already. So everything would be pastel. Nothing should be super pastel. Right. And uh, also 50% pos hat, all that jazz that I talked about already. Don't see calico really. Mm -hmm. The head stamp. I had a little bit of a hard time picking the difference out between spot nose and hinge woma heads. Yeah, it's funny how that's working out lately. Here we have a pastel spot nose calico, which I just saw the calico like last night when I was relabeling this, but you can clearly see the calico coming up the sides now. Pretty cool. All right, all right. I don't mess with them too much because they did just eat, but this would be a, a pastel hidden gene walnut, maybe. Um, how little is a spot nose? I don't know. It's either spot nose or hidden gene woman. I think it's, man, that's tough. What do you guys think? I don't know. Sound like <laughs> an idiot now. <laughs> you are no idiot, that's for sure. Sometimes IDing stuff is a little tricky. Especially if it's the first ones that you've worked with like that. It could be like a low expression calico too. You see some white coming up in here. Mm-hmm. And one way to tell if it's hidden you or not is if it's trying to bite you from our collection. Well, it seems this like. one, definitely. Then we start getting stuff like this, which I don't know what this is. I guess it has to be pastel. It has to be pastel. Even though it's not that bright. Mm hmm. Doesn't look like fire, it, but I mean. It doesn't look like any of the genes. Yeah, it's not spot nose. It's not hidden gene woma. If I show this to somebody and don't tell them what it is, they're like, what is it, a phantom? Is it a Mojave? Is it like some bell complex animal? Mm -hmm. You know, it doesn't have the spot nose head. It doesn't have a hidden gene woma head patterning. Like it's, this thing's all wacky. We got it. another one, actually two other animals from this same dad that have this sort of same look to it. I'll show you one that's not from this clutch that looks very similar to this one. It's a little older, so it's a little brighter. So this is from a, a clutch before, and you can see we actually had this for sale for a minute. Then we have to pull it down because we just don't know what the idea is on it. It, it looks like, like a bell complex animal, and it's very similar to this animal. This one's a little bit more blushed. Yeah, but the patterning is almost spot on. 
So yeah, it doesn't look spot news, doesn't look fire, calico, hidden gene woma, like all the things that it could be. So mm -hmm. if you guys uh, have any ideas, and we'll take it one step further. Hold on one second. So this would have to be the Firefly version of that. You see you have the same sort of patterning. It's a lot brighter because fire's in it along with the pastel. The same sort of head. And I'm not sure what it is. And now that was two different females so we, we know that it's got to have to do with the male. Mm -hmm. But we showed you the mail, so if any of you guys have any ideas, is this coming in, looking like mm -hmm. getting the colors well? Yeah, it's crazy. Like I don't know. When we posted these, a whole bunch of people were like, "Oh, that's a Mojave." So this would have to be just the the base, right? This one, because this one didn't. There was have no super pastel in this parent pairing. Mm -hmm. So that could be the, and then this one has to have pastel in it. You see a lighter head, more blushing. Mm -hmm. And then this one add fire. All kind of have the same head stamp look where the back end of it kind of flares out into a circle. Mm -hmm. And I just don't know. And it, it, I mean, I know that I talk a lot about cryptic stuff and this isn't cryptic. Doesn't have a spot in his head, doesn't look hidden Juwoma. Yeah, it's yeah. not. The other female was just a pastel uh, leopard head clown. So there's nothing crazy going on there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's not leopard. So I don't know what's causing this. So yeah, uh, give us a call, send us a DM, comment down below. Any ideas? I'd love to hear them. <laughs> they are beautiful snakes, but it's hard to call. Very, very weird. I don't know. So yeah. All right guys, on our way out here, I wanna show off this little girl out of quarantine. This is an Arroyo Spot News that we picked up from uh, a charity auction. Yep, from Slokes Reptiles. From Slokes Reptiles. Very beautiful. We're excited to see what we can do with Spot News and Arroyo. Mm -hmm. especially once we get clown going in mm -hmm. that project so this is an awesome girl we're, we're very excited about it and uh, I want to thank you guys again for watching our videos if you're not subscribed yet please subscribe hit the like bell notification button thumbs down <laughs> her pals rock I don't even know what I'm saying anymore what do I do with my hands G's up and thumbs down G's up and thumbs down <laughs> Are you bounced to this? <laughs> oh, if you start rapping, we'd get a lot more followers. We're going to get demonetized. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>